<laughs> if you don't know, now you know, noob noob. Was Biggie Smalls the one that got killed by Tupac or the one that died of AIDS? He was both. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, in case you didn't know what this video was about, it is about trailers. It's our reactions, our reviews We're of going trailers. Into multiple trailers. Yeah, we just wanted to give our thoughts on a couple of hot new trailers. Pulling out on most of them. Pulling in. Are we though? I think we're going to see all of them. You're uh, definitely seeing some. I mean, seeing them and enjoying them, two very different things. That is very different. Yeah. Well, let's start with the first one. Let's go into. We're going to do three. We're going to do Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, Indiana Jones 5, and The Dial of Destiny. Destiny. The greatest of destinies. And, and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Volume 3. So let's, let's go. Transformers. Yeah. Transformers. Apparently, this kid is not good enough to ride Bumblebee. He has to ride Jazz. Where is Shia or Marky Mark? They are both dead. And this this like, is a probability is this, future. Is this a continuity of the other Transform? Like it's very I haven't done any research Do on this. Do not know. I know Michael Bay is not directing it. Apparently, our world has transformed and given us more forests, which we will enjoy. Yeah. And I, the forest. I want to say that it it is has awakened. It is connected with to the monkeys, other ones. roaring monkeys. So there's yeah, a monkey. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He's a monkey. You don't like monkeys? I think Peter Dinklage is the monkey. <laughs> oh. Like not a hundred percent. He's a monkey. And yeah. op, but Optimus is also in it. Stand down, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> That's what he said. I'm not the one to fear Prime. So apparently it's going to be the Transformer animals versus the Predacons, right? I sure. Apparently it's a 90s globetrotting adventure. Dude, I don't know what timeline any of these things take place in. Wait, does it say 90s? It says 90s. I don't know what that It says it right down here. In the description? In the description, yeah. Wait. 90s globetrotting adventure. I'm confused. So, the- do you want me to read? It says in- introducing the Maximals, Predacons, Terracons, because we didn't know who the villains are. I will say I like the trailer for a Transformer trailer, which I usually don't like Transformers at all. Uh, the trailer doesn't tell you that much, so that's good, and I think it it can get you, it can trick you into thinking it's probably good. I I didn't realize this. So maybe this is a sequel to Bumblebee that was I, in the 80s. Who the f- Where's Haley Steinfeld? This is directed by Stephen Capel Jr. Why is Haley Steinfeld is. not in this then? Starring Anthony Ramos and Dominic. There's not even a hot chick in it. That's what I'm saying. June 9th, 2023. Haley Steinfeld could have been the hot chick. There is Bumblebee from the 70s, right? That's a 70s Bumblebee right there. I think is it so. Not? Because it's definitely Bumblebee, right? Yeah, that's Bumblebee. So he's a 70s Corvette, right? Yeah. That's what he looks like. He's a Camaro, not a Corvette, Whatever. but yeah. 70s Camaro. I don't know what cars 80s are. 80s Camaro. He's a Camaro. And then Jazz. I'm pretty sure Jazz is a Porsche, which I like to see Jazz. like. And that's what's funny is this kid, he gets to drive Jazz because because he's not good enough to do Bumblebee. Knock some cops around. Look, there's the Corvette and a Cheetah. Camaro. Whatever. With no rims. A cheetah. A cheetah. And look, it's jazz and a rock. It, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I... This girl is, that's, I swear, that's from, like, the future ones with, uh, where where Optimus dies and they have Om- Omnicron, the planet, that the transforming planet. Dark of the moon. No, the transforming planet that, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, he was in that, wasn't it, Omnicron? Dude, I don't know. You're the. I just remember the, Shia LaBeouf. You're the expert. There's, pr- there's. You've watched every single one, and you love all of them. I, I, uh, the last, the last night, Transformers Six. The last night that was, was pretty bonkers. shitty. Yeah, that's like she's somebody famous, not famous, like a real like Transformer from Transformers the movie. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, all right. Where's Shia LaBeouf? Not here. Look, there's dancing people. I'm already disinterested if Shia LaBeouf you, is not Look, there's in a it. rhino transformer. I thought you were in it for the Transformers, not the actual cannibal what about Shia LaBeouf. Running through the woods, cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Is he Out right? of the corner of your eye, you spy. Shia LaBeouf. 
Yes. So then there's like a big battle at the end, but it's like I said, no, it's no, cool no, because they is, don't this show is probably you. Probably a flashback. That's on Cybertron, think? probably. Maybe I don't know, but it doesn't show you enough to get like freaked out. But I think it looks good. It, I'm shocked at the my mild interest in this because I normally don't like any Transformers. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see it because this Transformers, but do I think it's going to be a better version of the? It's f- better than Marky Mark. Like the I'm f- gonna put money on the, the first fact trilogy that it's was Mark. the best, and then it might it, it it could compete with Marky Mark's Transformers movies. And it has 11 million views as of right now. Let's compare it to Indiana Jones, which does not have as many vil- mil- million. Doesn't? Views. What no, I think have? it was at like three million last Oof. time I checked. I if think because are, they probably feel it's fake because Harrison Ford is 97 years old. He's 80 years old. No one cares anymore. And the music is like depressing him. Indiana Jones music. The whole thing looks like CGI. He's got to die in this. That's the, uh, well, we talked about spoilers. There's a leak from Doomcock. Remember, we covered this in I the show. I don't. Yes. Doomcock said, "Do you, should we give away spoilers? Sure. Okay. When I get to it, I'll explain it. So this looks like the 1960s and Harrison Ford looks like old as dirt. And I'm, what is it? Uh, James Mangold directed this. Who's actually a good director, but he's trying to do this weird Spielberg thing. I like Sala is narrating. I like that. Look, it's like a diving bell thing. He's trying to talk about who knows. Um, he puts the hat on, but there's definitely some de-aging in here somewhere. There's some Nazis. There's a train. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. They're Nazis and a train. And look, old man. There's Sala and there's old man Indy. Look at Sala. Looks old as dirt. Yeah. He's pretty old. But f- look, does it say Sala is one of the stars? No, it says Harrison Ford, Phoebe Waller Bridge, and Mads Mickelson. Hmm. Who the heck is Phoebe Waller Bridge? I don't know. Is she a hot chick? Is she not? Oh, is she, she super old? She's from Fleabag. I don't know what Look, that is. Look, uh, there's Harrison Ford Young. Look, he's been de-aged. Oh, my, oh God. my gosh. He looks so young there. So the story goes is that there's going to be a young Indiana Jones and a old Indiana Jones, and they will cross paths. What? The young Indiana Jones, spoilers, close your ears if you don't want to hear, will sacrifice himself, which means the old Indiana Jones will die. And Phoebe Waller Bridge will take over as Indiana Jones. Oh. And she'll have to recreate all of the old Indiana Jones without him, or maybe with him. That's Mad Mickelson as a Nazi. This looks like a time machine thing. There's Phoebe Waller Bridge. That would be dumb as shit. Uh, that would be like people look, this is a terrible CGI of Harrison Ford. Look at that. It's pretty terrible. They just CGI'd his face on top of a stuntman. Is this... I don't know what this is. Look, pretty terrible CGI. I'm trying to find... Look, there's like the giant ball. Don't know what that's doing there. Seems kind of weird. There's a scene, though, that looks like Star Wars, which I thought... Oh, here it is. They're in like... They're clearly in some sort of time machine right here. Right? Does that not look like the cockpit of the Millennial Falcon? Millennial Falcon... No. Yes. I. It looks like a orb. You don't know what that is. Sorta. You don't know what Star, Star Wars, is. Wars is a thing. Chewbacca. Where's Phoebe Waller Bridge? You need to get a Who good look that? at her. Who is that? Her? Yes, from Fleabag. Does she look hot to you? Nope. No. Don't need it. Don't, don't want, want it. it. <laughs> look, it's new. It's old. That's new indie, not old indie, right? Look at her. Not attractive. So both indies are going to die. But this is a this is a bait and switch because she's barely in the trailer, but she's second billing. Look, that's her there. Nope. Because that's my daughter, and she's like, "Well, they're, we're not related." Wait, she's the daughter of a new goddaughter. He's he's she's his goddaughter. This seems stupid. This seems why real isn't bad. Child Buff in this? Yes, the and then is- she ducks before he ducks. He whips out his whip, and then these people shoot at a wall for no reason. That doesn't make a lot of sense. The The common theme here is Shia LaBeouf needs to Look be... Look at all these nice. people shooting at him, but he's ducking. That doesn't make a lot Super of sense. Super dumb. Yeah, I would have said this looked okay, but since I know the leaks, I am not interested in June 30th. And then we'll go to our final one, and I think this one looks good. This is 
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The James Gunn final Marvel Swan Song. That's right. Uh, they are taking their ship, and it's kind of funny because they show up in like what you would think is the suburbs. It's kind of a little bit of a, a twist. And then, you know, Drax is a dope and throws a ball at these people's face, at this little girl's face, and you find out, look, they're animal people. Oh, my God. It's kind of funny. That's not America. It is not America. Did you not watch this trailer? No. Really? No. So look, it's Drax. He's yeah. about to drill this little girl in the face. Oh, my God. Is he that 100, He 100% drills this little girl in the face. That doesn't sound... Oh, look, like, is it okay? <laughs> there's the ball. He drills this little thing in the face. He puts his balls on the little girl? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, so then they get mad, and that's kind of like the subversion. And then they're talking about, like, this oh, they're going to go into in uh, Rocket's where rocket came from look there's look there's him as a test animal oh my god he has a best friend who's an otter it's super oh, cute oh no they better not kill the goddamn otter oh my god it's so cute although james gunn did say this is going to be like a pretty you're going to cry cuz oh. he's got to kill them off because he doesn't want anyone else to use them i do like the idea that they have different color jump like spacesuits cuz that's clearly drax well you think he's going to kill them off so no one Some else can of them. use them yeah for sure Oh boy. Somehow Gamora's back in it. Don't really know no, how. No, remember that... the time travel. There's a travel. fake Gamora. Yeah, yeah, it's like the time travel. She's Gamora. like the not nice one. Yeah, the non one. Cosmo's part of their crew now. See Cosmo. We oh, saw Cosmo. Geez. Craglin is there. I don't want Rocket to die. Rocket's going to die. Or the otter. Pete, I'm done running. There's oh, a part fuck. where he hugs the otter. I don't I don't even know what's going I don't even know what I'm looking at. Not cool. Don't know who the villain is. Warlock. Maybe it's Gamora. Adam Warlock is in. They apparently go back to prison. I hear Drax will probably die too because he doesn't want to do the role anymore. Yeah, Sorry, that, makes, that makes sense. Sorry, folks. We said spoilers earlier, but you know, time to face. I mean, look, he's crying. I'm definitely Rocket, watching. Rocket's this movie. gonna die. Where's the part where he hugs the other otter? There's an otter in the trailer. Yeah, there's an otter in the trailer. Look, there's this guy. I don't know who that is. I think he's the villain. Okay, well, there's this guy. That's Peter. That's Chris Pratt. Oh, look, he's hugging the otter. Oh, my God. Look, it's an otter. I it's, got the hiccups. It's an otter. It's otter hugs. Look at the hugging otter. Oh, there's Adam Warlock. I think he's a prisoner wherever they are. I don't really know what's going on with him. Mantis looking all sad. I think she has a short lifespan because her hair is getting progressively grayer. Did you notice that in the Guardians of the Galaxy spe uh, special, the holiday special? She had a bunch of gray hair, and now she has more gray hair. I bet you she has a really short lifespan. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't realize the gray hair. Yeah, I, I noticed it, but now I notice it in the trailer more. This was great. Groot, Peter, back-to-back, -back, shooting off their guns. Looking kind of spicy. Swole Groot. Swole Groot. About to great music, as up. always. Drax, Mantis. Yeah, I'm in. Don't kill people. That's the, that's the main. I mean, obviously, I'm going to watch this movie. Oh, yeah. And this yeah. is the only one I was looking forward to. 12 million views within. So it's beating that's, out yeah, more Transformers. Than, that would make sense. Yeah. But it was like a ton of trailers introduced in one day. Hopefully, we didn't spoil too much for you. I'm in on all three, even though I'm really not excited. Uh, am I really in on Transformers? Maybe. Probably not. But Indiana Jones, I feel like as a professional, non-professional reviewer, we are obligated to watch these for you guys. Let us know in the comments below. Do you need us to review them? Noob Noob's going to see them regardless, but his reviews are useless. So let us know because we're going to keep it uh, dialed on in. Let us know down in the comments below. You can also catch our full-length audio podcast on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places for free. Live stream. Come join us. Friday nights typically. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Rumble it. Do all those other things. Catch the replays. Share with your friends. Because as for us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, we are on to the next one.